Hello everyone. Well, yes, it's another Mila upright. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with this video. In fact, I had half expected to send this cleaner back. Now I saw it on Amazon. It was the last one and it's the top of the range. Well, the previous top model, which has the LED headlight, a higher wattage motor and the automatic uh, plus and minus buttons, the electronic control. The one I showed you earlier, the white model, doesn't have a headlight and it has the rotary control and a lower wattage 890 watt motor. So although this was listed as having the headlight and everything and the higher wattage motor, I didn't hold out much hope because Amazon often get the listings wrong. But a quick look at the outside of the box and the fact that the box is this old design, I think I have got the model I wanted. So let's see. Now obviously I've had the first Miele Upright was, well the official first manufactured by Miele Upright was the S7 and I've shown you the S7 on my channel, that silver one, but I've had most of them. I had the bottom of the range black model, I had the, gar um, the autumn red cat and dog version, I didn't have the garnet red version which was the one down from the, the silver model that I still have. Right. Um, I'm hoping that this is not, doesn't look, well, let's see, I'll soon find out as soon as I remove this. Phew, it is the model I wanted. Instruction book. Does it have a headlight? Yes, it does. So, I'll just quickly get this out and show you the difference. Pop that there, make sure it's clicked in the upright position. We've got the handle. I'm really pleased about that. And you know why I bought this? I, I know I'm, an, I'm a fool. I am thinning out my collection. I am selling quite a few at the time of making this. And I'm not buying many. Oh, I can't get that off. Let's move that out of the way. But currently, at the time of making this video, I'm using my other Miele S7, or not S7, U1, as vacuum of the month. In fact, I've probably got it downstairs so we can put them side by side. So this one will be a little bit noisier. I think it's 81 decibels as opposed to 80 decibels for the newer version. Whoops. There we are. That's it, there we go. In fact, what I'll do, I'll get my uh, other model, put it next to it. The main difference is there are, of course it doesn't have a headlight, doesn't have push button control, which this one has. This has the push button plus and minus, plus a, a display and the automatic function. Um, and this will be, I think it's a 1500 watt motor, but I'll soon check it says 1500 watts on the box so here are the two cleaners side by side so as i said this is my vacuum of the month at the moment at the time of making the video in november 2018 we're about halfway through november and i've really enjoyed using this it's very big it's quite a heavy machine and i wouldn't recommend it if you've got a small home that's cluttered but for carpet cleaning and even hard floor cleaning, it's very good at hard floors as well, and usually for an upright. And despite the fact that the energy label has a big line through it saying not suitable for hard floors, well, it might have failed that EU test, but from my experience, it cleans hard floors very well. So, as I said, I've enjoyed using it. It's a big machine, but it feels very solid. And it's a sort of vacuum cleaner that makes you want to use it slowly. It's not one of those quick grab and go cordless that you could quickly whip round, it looks clean, that's fine. Put it away for another day. This actually, you feel, once you've used this, you feel that the carpet is clean. Cordless, to my experience, cannot replace a good mains powered corded machine, not yet. I think if people have a cordless machine for a couple of years and that's all they use, they will find if they replace it with a mains power, they will find how much dirt has been left in the carpet. So they look very similar at the base, 
but obviously this has got that lovely set of LEDs one two three four five six seven eight LEDs on the front and this of course made a bit cheaper well still quite an expensive vacuum but they've just taken that little feature away and I like having LED lights um, let's see about the filters this has got a HEPA air clean 30 I won't actually press the indicator I can just take it out so it's there we are you're supposed to remove this little strip before use and also press this little uh, green button and it's supposed to indicate when it needs replacing normally on average uh, a year of use so that's the a HEPA air clean 30 fitted with the older version and on the newer one the current it's the same it's a HEPA whoops oh, on this one I did actually press the button you can just see it's going red can you see I don't want to go out of focus but anyway it's starting to go red I don't know if it's based on actual usage or it just counts down a time because if I press that and never use the machine I think that would probably still change within a year but um, it's just a guide personally yes change it every year if you want to but I'm sure a lot of people don't bother changing them at all only if a vacuum doesn't pick up they might think oh well, I think it needs a new filter but for me I don't mind spending money on consumables filters and bags because personally I think it's a cleaner way of disposing of the dirt some may, may say it's an old-fashioned way and bagless is best if you like bagless by all means you have a bagless vacuum and I'll have what I like to use so moving on up a little bit so both cleaners have the piston bag check indicator here and they're both called the same I think that's Miele Dynamic U1 Allergy Powerline Miele Dynamic U1 Allergy Powerline so they're called the same thing and they'll have the same U bag of course that's clean and empty and this one has got dirt in it as I said it's uh, been used around my home for approximately 15 days so far you'll know by now how well it fared because that video will have uh, long been uploaded before you see this one but it's keeping everything spotlessly clean inside here these bags do ensure that all the dirt is kept inside them so that's that and again the bag door does feel a little bit flimsy but I've never had one break on me so far despite that awful noise they make once they're closed they're pretty solid so here's the main difference between these two models the newer version the current version at the time of making the video this is the current top of the line Miele in the UK at least has got this rotary control to control the suction power so you've got curtains deep pile low pile and smooth that's for hard floors but I tend to use it on smooth on my short pile carpets smooth is maximum suction and then you've got two indicator lights here to show when the motor brush is on for the carpets and also that's just a mains on light I believe also changes if it overheats I think if you get a blockage I've never really seen that light illuminate red but I think that does change and of course on the more deluxe discontinued version we'll move the rotary dial version to one side we have got the automatic control which I never really used much you've also got an indicator light to tell you when the filter needs replacing and a button that you press to reset that feature once you put a new filter in so if I turn it on So as you can see it just has a row of indicator lights to indicate the setting from the lowest suction which you can use for your curtains up to the highest for your hard floors. There's also a little light here that indicates when the electro brush is on and also a warning light as well. 
Now it, it looks upside down and indeed it is from that angle but when you're viewing it as an operator when you're actually using the machine these symbols are the correct way up. <clears throat> the back of the cleaners are identical as far as I can tell with the built-in stretch hose, the telescopic metal extension wand, dusting brush, upholstery nozzle and crevice tool. So there you go, just a fairly short video, certainly short for me, explaining the differences between these two very similar vacuum cleaners. As I said, this is the current version with the rotary dial. It's the current top of the range in the United Kingdom. And this is the machine that went before it. It's a shame that for the UK, um, they dropped the bells and whistles. I do like the push button control and I do love that LED headlight. But as far as performance goes, I don't think there's anything to choose between them. I've got the energy label here. And of course, this uses more energy uh, being a 1500 watt as opposed to 890 watts. So it gets an F for energy using on average 57.9 kilowatt hours per annum. Gets an A for dust emission, which I think is the same as this. Gets a C for dust pickup from carpet. Again, I think it's the same as this one. The older version has an 81 decibel noise level as opposed to 80. I can hardly tell any difference between the two. And both of them, according to the EU energy label, are not suitable or at least have failed that particular test. But in my own experience of using this machine on my hard floors, it does a very good job and it doesn't appear to scrape along the floor like some machines. You can, of course, turn the brush roller off with this machine so you've got suction only on your hard floors there you go then i'm glad to have this particular version not sure i'll actually use this one much i want to keep it nice this one will get used more and hopefully you'll have seen a demo of this by now if not a demo will be coming up very soon so you can take it as read that they'll perform, as I said, they'll perform more or less the same. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about these Miele uprights, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.